Regular lithium batteries are similar to solid-state batteries, however, they are superior. With the exception of the absence of any liquid components, they operate on the same principles. Kaiji Kanahori discovered the first thin-film solid-state batteries in 1986, using the lithium electrolyte as their foundation. These characteristics make thin-film solid-state batteries appropriate for use in a variety of applications including medical equipment, electric cars, and military installations. But the technology was not fully developed at the time since it could not power larger electrical gadgets. For a very long time, solid-state batteries have been regarded as a significant power source for a wide range of applications. The U.S. government finds it inadequate, nevertheless. The future will reveal more about the factors that lead solid-state batteries to malfunction. What is the lifespan of solid-state batteries? And why do solid-state batteries always let you down? Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. In terms of cycle life, energy density, safety, and overall performance, solid-state batteries have the potential to surpass conventional lithium-ion batteries. They are made to last a long time. Solid-state batteries are anticipated to have a far longer operational life than conventional lithium-ion batteries. Even though the precise lifespan can vary depending on factors including the materials used, design considerations, operating circumstances, and maintenance methods. However, solid-state batteries have been a source of issues for small electronic devices like smart watches and pacemakers. Some solid electrolytes have the issue of being too fragile to charge more than a few dozen times. Solid-state batteries can recharge and discharge at least 10,000 times according to a research done in 2021. This is significantly greater than solid-state test batteries, which can only last 10 to 15 years. However, with new technology, this can be extended to 50 years. High-density solid-state batteries can reach 10,000 cycles before exhibiting appreciable deterioration. Compared to its conventional lithium-ion equivalents, solid-state batteries are able to store more energy in the same volume due to their higher energy density. To increase energy density, Solid-state batteries can employ metallic lithium as the anode and oxides or sulfides as the cathode. This can lead to smaller, lighter batteries for portable gadgets as well as longer-range electric cars or cell phones that can run for days on a single charge. Nevertheless, one of the main disadvantages is that solid-state type batteries have deterioration mechanisms. When charging, the solid electrolyte does not completely prevent the formation of lithium dendrites. If this gets to the cathode, it results in a short circuit. Conversely, if the battery is discharged, it may result in interfacial delamination, which causes some areas of the anode to lose contact with the electrolyte. These batteries also require replacement following lengthy charge and recharge cycles due to phenomena like lithium creep and dead lithium. The issues of cost and usability are also major obstacles. Solid-state battery handling and manufacture are more difficult, and this is reflected in the price. This also forbids the widespread manufacture and application of these batteries in daily life. The cause of additional limitations is usability. Low temperatures have not been kind to solid-state batteries in terms of performance. Not all of them will always stabilize to be effective at room temperature. Moreover, they are more delicate due to pressure considerations. While all of these problems are solvable, doing so will result in a decrease in energy density. Solid-state batteries which have the potential to outperform conventional lithium-ion batteries in terms of energy density, safety, charging speed, and lifespan, have been heralded as a game-changer in the field of energy storage. Unfortunately, there have been obstacles and setbacks in the development and marketing of solid-state batteries, which has left some disappointed. Let's examine some of the factors that have prevented solid-state batteries from living up to early expectations. Challenges related to technology Currently, the energy density and performance has been difficult to achieve steady performance and great energy density in solid-state batteries. Securing effective ion transport in solid electrolytes while preserving high energy capacity is a challenging scientific issue that calls for cutting-edge material science and engineering solutions. The complexity of manufacturing, Compared to conventional lithium-ion batteries, the creation of solid-state batteries requires complex manufacturing procedures that might not be as well-established or scalable. Difficulties in increasing output while upholding standards of quality can cause inefficiencies and delays. Material Restrictions A stability level of the solid electrolyte 
It is still very difficult to create solid electrolytes with high ionic conductivity, thermal stability, and mechanical strength. An unstable electrode-electrolyte contact can reduce the lifespan and performance of batteries. One enduring constraint is electrode compatibility. For batteries to be durable and efficient, the right electrode materials must be chosen that can interact with solid electrolytes and keep their stability during charge-discharge cycles. Another important factor to consider is the search for appropriate electrode materials that do not damage the electrolyte. Cost limitations can result in material and manufacturing expense costs. Certain solid electrolytes and other solid-state battery components can cost more to make than the materials used in conventional lithium-ion batteries. Economies of scale and cost are significant drivers in the commercialization of solid-state battery technology. Higher production costs may result from the intricacy of making solid-state batteries as well as the requirement for specific tools and procedures. Ensuring quality control while reducing production costs is crucial for broad adoption. Dependability and Safety It is vital for safety that solid-state batteries have effective thermal management to avoid heat buildup and thermal runaway problems. Gaining consumer trust requires resolving issues with temperature management and preserving battery stability in a variety of scenarios. In addition, cycle life and degradation to increase the lifespan and dependability of solid-state batteries, issues with cycle life, capacity fading, and degradation across several charge-discharge cycles must be resolved. Improving battery longevity is essential for gaining market acceptability. U.S. government scientists are actively investigating ways to get beyond the technological obstacles that solid-state batteries face, working with partners in business and academia. To accelerate the commercialization of solid-state battery technology, initiatives are concentrated on strengthening manufacturing processes, establishing strong safety systems, and optimizing electrode materials and solid electrolyte performance. The development of dendrites or branching networks of lithium that form through the solid electrolyte during battery charging is one well-known reason for battery failure. The resolution of these two issues might potentially bring in a new era of electric vehicles driven by SSBs. Traditional lithium-ion batteries electrolyte and separator are replaced with solid-state batteries, which convert the electrolyte from a liquid to a solid state. Depending on the manufacturing process, solid-state batteries can be roughly divided into bulk and thin film kinds, with varying capacities for energy storage. Economical electrode or electrolyte materials with appropriate characteristics, such as highly scalable electrochemically, thermally, or mechanically stable synthesis, high energy density and power density, simple recycling, extended life cycle, environmentally friendly, and safe handling are still needed for solid-state batteries. Because PDO is a semi-crystalline polymer with ionic transport mostly occurring in the amorphous phase, low ionic conductivity occurs at temperatures below the melting point TM, around 65 degrees Celsius. So solid-state batteries based on it operate at increased temperatures, 70 to 90 degrees Celsius. Solid-state substitutes, on the other hand, provide a greater variety of choices, such as sulfides, polymers, and ceramics. In cold winters, none of these freeze or become slow, therefore solid-state batteries continue to function effectively.